a reiterated Cyprus support uh, for Serbia's EU accession process, a process that lies in parallel with the European perspective of the Western Balkans, and we remain ready to provide any technical support to Serbia uh, that is needed. We also welcome and encourage Serbia's efforts to proceed with the necessary reforms that will widen the path towards achieving full membership. Lastly, I reiterated Cyprus' principal position towards Serbia, which is grounded in the principles of international law regarding territorial integrity and respect for sovereignty. We support the EU-facilitated dialogue between Bel Belgrade and Pristina, and we welcome Serbia's consistent, constructive engagement, which unfortunately is not being reciprocated. Therefore, our, I expressed our concern regarding first, the stalemate in the negotiations, and secondly, the unilateral and highly obstructive actions by Pristina. Dear Minister, dear Marco, Cyprus and Serbia have been proven numerous times to be, a valuable, to be valuable, reliable friends, predictable partners, especially in times of uncertainty. Rest assured that this is something on which we'll be continuing to work together, making uh, this relationship develop in order to fully explore all the untapped potential that still remain. I look forward to the continuation of our deliberations and I look forward to welcoming you and the Serbian delegation in Nicosia for the fourth intergovernmental summit between our two countries. Thank you.